When it comes to social media, mm -hmm. especially with guys, looking at someone like yourself and other women mm -hmm. on Instagram or social media platform, one of the most important things to a guy is that a woman looks just like her Instagram when they see him in real life. Mm -hmm. What do people say when they see you in real life? Well, they tend to tell me I look better in person than in real life. And once oh, they better in person than uh, the internet. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, <laughs> than Instagram. I'm sorry. Yes, they always tell me that. And I'm like, thank you. Um, but they mainly say I look like Rihanna a lot. So, Do so. people say you look taller, shorter, thicker, thinner? Um, than your Instagram? Or shorter. Your... Okay. Shorter. Um, they're not, they don't think I'm very, well, I guess they think I'm tall, but I'm short. I'm only 5'2". Um, tiny. Now, let me ask you this. How did you get popular on Instagram? People take pictures and they just spin them all around. They are on different people pages. I'm really not sure. Like, I'm, I got to a point where every day I was getting like man, hundreds and hundreds of requests and I got tired of just accepting one by one. So I just opened my page and then they just start flowing. So like, you used to be private? Yes. Okay. Yes. Why private? Because I have people that I didn't really want watching me at a certain extent, but after a while, I got to the point where was like, I can't keep blocking you, so now I guess you can just watch me do me. Because people do fake, fake, uh, what do you call it, profiles and stuff all the time, so mm -hmm. even if you were watching out for someone specific, mm -hmm. all you gotta do is make one up and still see you. Exactly. If you accept it. Exactly. But that's why I'm open now. So whoever has a fake page, <laughs> welcome to my page. <laughs> now, what type of Instagram posts, and let's talk about your Instagram, get the biggest response for you? Um, ass videos. You guys love my ass. I don't know why, but you, <laughs> you like to see it move and shake. So once I get to doing that, it's on and popping. Those likes and the comments are coming from here and everywhere. <laughs> when it comes to Instagram, do you have a strategy with it? Um, I'm just trying to stay consistent right now with um, just my model work and things to post, you know, just to keep you entertained. Speaking of Instagram, how crazy are your DMs? <sighs> Bananas. What's in there? What would we see? Give us a sneak peek. What's peep. in there? Inappropriate things. There are penises, there are vaginas, there are <laughs> everything you can think of. <laughs> um, <laughs> do you check them? Do you check your DMs? No. Periodically. I'll skim through them, and you can pretty much now look and see who's DMing you before you answer it. So, yeah, I'll be skimming. <laughs> what, what's the percentage males versus females trying to holler at you through the DM when you have checked it? Hmm, 80% male, 20, 30% female. And then let's say there's some popular people trying to holler at you, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Um, you don't have to name names, but let's do a percentage, okay? You got athletes, you got musicians, and then maybe another form of celebrity. What would you say in a 100% pie? What would you? Rappers. That's the most? Rappers. What would you say percentage-wise? Um, of the 100%, maybe give five or 10, you know. not. M they could be more than what they seem to be on their page, but I don't go looking for the information to find out. Only five, ten percent? Yeah. Oh, what's out of the, the other ninety hitting? Out you? of the hundred. Those are just I guess regular people. Oh, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> I mean, you know. Now, of the again, you don't have to say names, but mm -hmm. of the people that have with some popularity that have tried to holler at you through mm -hmm. the DM, has anybody uh surprised you or maybe you were a fan of their work or fond of their work? They have before? Yes, they have. Okay. Yes. Now let me ask you this. What, how do you deal with disrespect, hateful, negative comments? Hateful and negative comments. I let people speak whatever they want to speak because me, I'm content with myself and how that I am as a person. When I know personally that I haven't done anything to you, there's no need for me to worry my pretty little head about what you have to say about me or what I'm doing. So do you hide comments, delete, block, clap back? Um, depending on how I'm feeling, I might say something back to you, but it's just all in how I'm feeling, not because you thought you did something. Now, there was an instance where Justin Bieber was in a controver controversial relationship, mm -hmm. and he was um, you know, showing pictures off of his relationship on Instagram, mm -hmm. and he got a lot of negative flack, mm -hmm. and he told his fans to chill out and they didn't, and he deleted his Instagram. Hmm. 
Have you ever felt close to the point of almost or, you know, actually deleting your profile before, whether it be Instagram or another social media platform? Maybe not deleting, but maybe putting a pause on it. Like I won't post something or something like that. The next day I'll let it die down. Now, are you on Snapchat? I am on Snapchat. Is your screen name the same as it is your Instagram? It is. And how often do you post on there? Every day. Is there a strategy with that too or? Nope, I just, I just do me. I let the world see me doing me. Now, how crazy are your Snapchat messages versus your Instagram DMs? <laughs> but because they can send pictures, um, yeah, it's a little bit more crazier because I know specifically what people are pinpointing <laughs> when they're talking to me about it. Um, and those as well, I don't really open all of them, but I'll skim them and sometimes I'll open, you know, just just because I'm bored or something. Now, Instagram has a recently new feature called Instagram Stories, mm -hmm. which is something similar that Snapchat does. Have you used it before? What are your thoughts? I have not used it. I've not even clicked on the button. <laughs> but you've heard about it? I've heard about it. Okay. Do you think with the implementation of Instagram Stories, do you think that'll take away from the popularity of Snapchat? Or do you think Snapchat will still keep doing what they're doing? Um, honestly, because I haven't even tried Instagram out yet, I still believe that Snapchat is going to be popping because Instagram is an imitation of Snapchat. I mean, just being honest, it is. Snapchat was here first. I like Snapchat better. Now, when it comes to social media speaking generally, what is your biggest pet peeve with it at this point? What bothers you the most about it, if anything? Um, you can't control who's watching you. You really have no control over that. No matter how many times you block someone or delete a comment, you still can't control these people watching you. <laughs> do you have a backup page? I do not have a backup page. Why not? Most models and exotic dancers have a backup page that are popular. I've been too focused on building the one that I have um, to even worry about anything else extra. Have you ever been hacked or disabled before? I have. Uh, People have tried to hack me, but I recovered it. Um, I went through all the measures to make sure that if that happens, that I'm able to get it back. How long were you down for? Um, once I was disabled for almost a week, I cried. <laughs> <laughs> I cried. Literally cried? I cried. I was like in tears. I was like, what's going on? I don't understand it. And you never thought of a backup page after that? No. <laughs> <laughs> now. What about fake pages, fake profiles? Have you seen people use your images for that? Yes, I have. Um, many times before, actually, there was this one page that would never post anything but pictures of me and nasty comments, things that were way out of my character, things that I would not dare say on the internet. So they were trying to impersonate you or just trying to down you? Impersonate me, but not knowing how to. Um, and I ended up getting them reported. All of my fans reported them because they love me. So the page got knocked down, but I'm not sure they can still be out there with it, but I haven't ran across it. So that was on Instagram? It was. Have you seen people use your images on Backpage or Craigslist and stuff like that? Yes. I've had people send me pictures saying, are you, is this you for real? And I'm just like, no, baby, you got the wrong one. It's not me. So if people see you on Backpage or Craigslist, they're going to be catfished. Catfish. It's not me. Sorry. I don't swing that way. <laughs> now, let me ask you this. What about stalkers? Has anybody passed or crossed that uh, internet line into real life? Um, not dramatically, but if I see someone like, let's just say in a store or something, like I've had people follow me around the store. You oh, know? okay. Yeah. Not majorly as I'm going to find you. Where are you? Don't try anything either. <laughs> okay, because I, I have heard some stuff with like Chris Brown, Usher, Ashanti oh, taking wow. their stalkers to court. So oh, I don't yeah. know if that has happened to you. No, not yet. 